Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. A special thanks to everyone who helped out with the videography in this series of films, without whom they just wouldn't have been possible. And to the lovely people I met here and along the way who agreed to be in them. Thank you, and it was lovely to have met you. Now this is New Zealand, and it's got to be one of the most diverse but beautiful countries on the planet, and often gets referred to as God's own. And this is a place I call home, where I'm lucky enough to be able to have my eyesight to see it in great detail, and my health to get out and enjoy it. A country that often reminds you just how insignificant you actually are. Now this is the South Island, and the weather, well, it's diverse. But in such a beautiful landscape, there's no such thing as bad weather. Now, I was supposed to be down here running a workshop for the next two weeks, which had to be cancelled because of COVID. But I'm doing it anyway, as I had things booked and planned. But as you can see, there are no tourists. Which means I've got this place, more or less, all to myself. Now, road journeys are rumoured to take twice as long as they should in New Zealand, because the place is just that stunning. And just now with the roads being quiet, well, it takes twice as long again as we stop off to see places like this. <laughs> and this. And every time I take the camera out, well, I'm reminded just how lucky I am to be able to record this place, make new friends, and see some landscapes for the first time. and as well as seeing some landscapes for the first time, revisiting places that I've been to before, but looking at them as though it's the first time, and looking at them differently, and taking in the beauty that they hold. These next few videos are me going around in a camper van for the next 10 days, as I explore corners of New Zealand, some of which I haven't really spent that much time in. 14 locations, lots of B-roll, some photographs as I chase light and weather for the next week and a half. And this uh, next few videos, well, this is a quick snapshot into just how beautiful New Zealand is. Now, international travel has clearly been stopped because of the COVID restrictions. So this is my invite to you to visit New Zealand through photography. <laughs> now landscape photographers, we have some early mornings. But some early mornings that are worth getting up to shoot are often met by some lovely pre-dawn light. And New Zealand, of course, is the first country in the world to see each new day. So I'm heading down to a location here which is going to be busy with other photographers as we all capture this together. And there's no lessons really to this video, but this is a self-indulgent look at me taking photographs on location. Morning everyone, I am at the uh, very beautiful Lake Matheson this morning and didn't actually think I would get here because uh, I had several problems on the way uh, to the South Island this time. I don't know why I'm whispering other than it's the right thing to do. There's other photographers here this morning taking the sunrise, so I won't try and disturb them too much. Um, this is day number uh, two properly, I guess, of um, the South Island trip. And uh, 
I spoke, um, I spoke on the big video about the why. Now, this is uh, quite an important message for me here because the weather forecast this morning was um, rain and uh, the rain was going to hamper it for me to get an ideal shot. But then the ideal lighting conditions don't really matter because it's about getting me out here and seeing this. This is just a stunning, stunning part of New Zealand and it's emphasised by the fact that there are other tripods and camera uh, people down here as well. Um, Location-wise, um, straight ahead here of the camera, straight behind me, um, that is probably south, southeast, and the sun is coming up over here. So trying to get um, both the colour in the sky and the shadow detail, because the sensor of the camera doesn't see the same level of detail that our eyes see. So what I'm going to do is I've already um, set up down here, and as you'll know from previous videos that I take, I don't bracket. But I might have to bracket this because I'm losing the colour in the sky quite quickly. And this will probably be a single shot, so... Where are you from? Scotland. Oh, like nice. Yeah. Nice. What about you? Uh, we're from Slovakia. Oh, nice. Dutch. Oh, all over the place. All over the place. Are there any New Zealanders here? Yeah. Yeah, nice. It was actually pretty cold last night and uh, I thought we would have had more mist than the water this morning. But there's obviously enough um, air movement here to, to allow us to, to not have mist. So. This site's a bit ill-fated for me. I was here last time, um, last year. And uh, that was one of the shots that I lost when the data card became cor corrupted on my last trip. It's worth coming out though, this is awesome. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, um, just going to frame up here and I'm going to capture here for the highlights in the sky. Now I don't bracket, but this is probably a, an opportunity here to bracket to try and get some of that sky that's left um, with colour in it. So this is uh, F32. Um, I'm pushing that at four seconds just to flatten out the water. Now on here, um, sunrise and sunset, you'll see that um, you've got to balance the ground and air temperature so that when you balance the ground and air temperature the water goes completely flat. So what we're looking at here on the right hand side there's some waves of ripples and the waves of ripples are actually in the shelter of the trees over here to the right. Um, we may have missed this but I just see the sun now starting to hit the top of Mount Cook uh, and Mount Tasman up here so that's now the diffracted light hitting the top of that mountain. So I'll just, um, I'm going to grab another battery and just watch this. Now it's quite uh, incredible to watch that when the light's on, on location, just how focused and concentrated everybody is. And there's not a lot of chatter as we just soak this in. Just sitting up here, um, looking at the screen. It's, um, it's looking pretty nice, this actually. I'm just going to come into about 90, 90 mil. So that's now the second shot for um, for the low lights and the bottoms of the trees. And it's not going to be a an HDR, but it's going to be a bracket. It's quite interesting to watch uh, all the different types of equipment that's here. Um, on these shoots there's people shooting with mirrorless as well as iPhone. C size, full frame, medium format. It's always good to see people out taking photographs in places like this, it's really cool. I'm just setting up here to try and get this 
nice and clean with some detail in the sky, but also some detail in the shadow as well. So I'll come back out. I'm set up at a fifth of a second. That's too dark, so I'll come up to 0.4 of one second. And that maintains some detail in the sky, and then I can lift the shadows. That's actually nice and clean. That's really nice. And I'll pull back and just get some more reflection as well in the water because the water's starting now to smooth off. There we go. Less sky. And I'll split this one right down the middle with the horizon. So there's that water now starting to flatten off. So it's that balancing of the temperatures that I spoke about before. And we'll just take one more. I'll go a little bit darker actually because I just want to maintain some of these highlights. That's really nice. It's not perfect, but it's it's really, really cool. That's too dark. Delete it. Now it's quite important that when we're on location that we don't just take in the obvious viewpoints, but notice everything around us and understand where we're shooting. This area here, it's one of the few places, there's four or five places in the world that are designated transalpine environments in the same place as rainforest. But because we're in New Zealand, we've also got agriculture. So when the light's finished, the shoot's done and it's a great time to sit and reflect at everything we watched this morning. And uh, it's great to make new friends on location um, with common interests. Two of the guys there today, one was a, actually a film producer and the other a, a video editor. And I took some time to ask them why they took photographs and it's not a question that they had been asked before. And they were able to verbalise something once they had some time to think about it, but it's an important element that I think subliminally we take photographs without too much thought as to the why, but it's an important component. So that's the end of the shoot at Lake Matheson this morning, and uh, that's one stunning, stunning part of New Zealand. It's simply incredible to be down on Mirror Lake this morning, watching the perfect reflections of Mount Cook and Mount Tasman at sunrise, it's nothing short of epic. Simply incredible and well worth the four and a half hour drive here and now the four and a half hour drive to where I started. The shoot this morning though felt a little bit frantic because I arrived late and missed some of the colour and then arriving late was trying to catch up and there's four or five other photographers there as well all vying for position with tripods and bags and I have two tripods, two cameras and I'm talking to camera and I hope that I didn't spoil their shoot there this morning and if I did I'm really really sorry. The weather forecast this morning though was supposed to be rain and I made the decision last night I was going to shoot anyway because it's not about shooting in perfect light nor perfect weather. It's about so soaking up the atmosphere and taking in everything I'm seeing and that's my why, the thing that gets me out taking photographs in the first place. So I'm going to wrap it up here and I'm off to my next location which is probably in total about an eight hour drive away. So until next time, you keep shooting, you have fun Try and determine what your why is. Why do you take photographs? It's an important point from which to start your evolution in photography. Until then, you take care. We will see you next time. Cheerio. <laughs>